Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to take up one very interesting question from algebra. Equation given is square root x plus 1 over square root x times square root x plus 2 over square root x times square root x minus 3 over square root x times square root x minus 6 over square root x equal to 5. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. As you can see, x is in denominator. So I can write x cannot be 0. Square root x. One more thing we can write because of square root. So x must be positive for real value solution or for real solutions. x should be positive. So we will keep this thing in our mind. Let's get started. I will take LCM first. So I will begin with root x times root x. So it will become x plus 1 over square root x. This is our first bracket. Similarly, second I will write x plus 2 over square root x. Similarly, third x minus 3 over square root x. Similarly, the last one x minus 6 over square root x equal to 5. Now root x root x root x root x it is x square. So I will write x plus 1 x plus 2 x minus 3 x minus 6 over x square equal to 5. Cross multiply with x square or multiply both sides with x square. So I can write x plus 1. Now it is one quartic equation. x plus 2, x minus 3, x minus 6 equal to 5x square. Now you can see it is one quartic equation. So we will get four solutions. Now we have to check our solutions, which one is real, which one is not. So let's get started by considering two terms, this one and this one all together. So let me write x plus 1 times x minus 6 and these two I will consider all together. Means I will take product x plus 2 x minus 3. And then I will consider minus 5x square equal to 0. Either we can write equal to 5x square also. Okay. If I will multiply the first two brackets. So what I will get, let me write in the next slide. x plus 1, let me write here once, times x minus 6. Then it was x plus 2. Then it was x minus 3 equal to or minus 5x square equal to 0 or equal to 5x square. Now I will take product. So if I will take the first two bracket product, I will write x square x times minus 6 minus 6x 1 times x 1x so minus 5x 1 times minus 6 minus 6 done. Second product these product this is done x square x times minus 3 minus 3x 2 times x 2x minus 3x plus 2x minus x 2 times minus 3 minus 6 minus 5x square equal to 0. Now if I will write minus 5x see my target is minus 5x and x. So I am going to write this x and minus 5x in this manner x square minus 3x and then minus 6 the given one means the written one and then I will write minus 2x. Okay so what I did here minus 5x I have written minus 3x minus 2x. Similarly second bracket I will write x square minus 3x minus 6 plus 2x and then minus 5x square 
is equal to 0. What I did here, I have written minus x as minus 3x plus 2x. So minus 3x plus 2x, it is equal to minus x. Here minus 3x minus 2x, it is equal to minus 5x. Okay. Now you can see the difference. Let me demonstrate. See this one x square minus 3x minus 6 here it is available okay 2x and 2x with plus sign so one is strong identity from algebra is about to come that is difference of two squares that formula is let me write a minus b times a plus b this is what we know equal to a square minus b square difference of two squares identity from algebra so let's apply so it is i will write a minus b a plus b is written so instead of writing these two product brackets i will write a square minus b square so i will write x square minus 3x minus 6 whole square a square is done minus b is 2x so i will write 2x whole square this is closed. Now what is left? That is minus 5x square equal to 0. Now if I will expand, I will take these two terms all together. So I will write x square minus 3x minus 6 whole square minus 4x square minus 5x square equal to 0. Now you can see it is about to come again difference of two squares and that is the beautiful part of this solution. Minus 4 minus 5 minus 9x square so I can write 3x whole square. Okay, minus 4x square minus 5x square that is minus 9x square and minus 9x square minus is as it is this we can write 3x whole square. So I have written here 3x whole square. Okay. Now difference of two squares again will come into the picture. Let me write. So I will write. Let me write that one first. x square minus 3x minus 6 whole square. And then minus 3x whole square equal to 0. Difference of two squares. I will use. And I am going to write x square minus 3x minus 6 plus 3x a plus b. Okay. This will behave now a and this will behave now b. So a square minus b square that would be equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now I will write a minus b. So x square minus 3x minus 6 minus 3x equal to 0. So I can cancel these two terms. Anything else we can cancel? No. So let us write x square minus 6 and second bracket x square minus 6x six minus 6 equal to 0. Now it is very simple. f dot g equal to 0 that means either x square minus 6 will be 0 or quadratic x square minus 6x six minus 6 this would be 0. So let me consider this one first. So I will write from here x square equal to 6 add 6 to both sides we will get x square is equal to 6 take a square root both sides. So I will write x is equal to plus minus square root 6. Now remember what was our restriction x should be positive. So we will reject this one. Minus sign will be rejected. So which one is accepted solution? X is equal to square root 6. Now come to the second quadratic equation and second solution also. Let me write this equation. X square minus 6x minus 6 equal to 0. X square minus 6x minus 6 equal to 0. Shridrachar formula. x will be equal to minus b. So 6 plus minus square root 
b square minus 6 square 36 minus 4ac so it will give us 24 divided by 2a so 2 6 plus minus 36 plus 24 6060 over 2 6 plus minus i can see it is 4 times 15 so i will write 2 root 15 over 2 now we are having 3 plus minus root 15 x will be equal to now again there are two solutions one solution will be accepted and another will be rejected because of root 15 is less than slightly less than 4 so if i will consider 3 plus root 15 so it is flat acceptable both numbers are positive once it is 3 minus root 15 then root 15 is greater than 3 so this minus sign will provide us negative solution which is unaccepted so i will write rejected so which one is accepted that is plus sign so accepted solution i am writing here 3 plus square root 15 and see the first solution was x is equal to plus root 6 so here we are having two real solutions for the given equation i hope you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck please take care of yourself